Hello, my name is Isabel Gozo. Today I'm going to be doing my catheter insertion on a male patient. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check that there's an order in it on the computer and make sure that's all good. Then I'm going to identify myself and close the curtain and I'm going to say, Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm your student nurse today. I'm going to wash my hands or clean my hands and then put my gloves on. And then I'm going to identify the patient by their name, date of birth, and then their wristband. I'm also going to raise the bed to a working height. And then I'm also going to lower down the railing and make sure I have adequate light. This looks good to me. Those are big, big. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to get a chuck and put it underneath them. And I'm going to try to maintain modesty. <laughs> put this underneath them. Okay. And then I'm going to clean them using some washcloths and like some. Decently warm water, but not too cold or anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the fetus and like go downward. And each time I'm going to change the area of washcloth that I'm using. And then I'm going to use downward strokes on the shaft. Okay. So then after they're clean, then I'm going to get rid of this. Take my gloves off. Well, I guess I should move this first. I'm just going to put that down there because it's on all the space. So then I'm going to do hand hygiene again. I'm going to open up our catheter kit. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So my gloves should be first. So this is a cup can you see me? <laughs> okay. So let's do it. That didn't happen. And then I'm going to lay out my um, treat here. Also, my patient should be like on their back and they should be slightly bending your knees, but this is a dummy and they don't really do that. What if we would be It's going to leave it like that because I don't want to contaminate my gloves or anything like that. And then I should have pulled the um, blanket down further. <laughs> So we're just going to pretend that was done already. Okay. Now I'm going to be putting my tray. This one. And then this tray right here. This one we're going to discard because we don't really need it. Okay. So I'm just going to be getting everything out here. I'm going to ask them if they have an iodine allergy. Do you have an iodine? Oh, they're supposed to, right? Okay, so then we're going to be using hydrogen peroxide. We're going to fluff our cotton balls. And then we're going to re-clean them again and open this up too. And then open our lubricant up also and put them on the tray. And then this, the hydrogen peroxide. So then we're going to re-clean them again. And I'm going to use my non-dominant hand. And this is what's going to be breaking sterility. So then we're just going to clean it the same way we did before. And each one, did we just throw them away in the garbage can? Yeah, I'll just put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then we're just going to clean it. <laughs> okay, so then I'm done with that. Just going to get rid of this too, after it's all clean. So then, then I'm going to take this out here. Ow. I guess I can do that. Right. Yeah. Oh no, I should have done that. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to put this. It's not supposed to touch that. Oh, that's what she meant by it. Okay. So then this is going to go on the lubricant two to four inches. Then I'm going to take my <laughs> sterile, my non sterile hand. And if it has any, like, um, if you're having any trouble or anything like that, you can twist it. And it should go. Okay. 
Okay. So then after that, I'm going to check and make sure that there's urinary urine coming out. And if there is, I'm going to inflate the balloon. Then I'm going to inflate it. I'm going to make sure it's working and then secure it right here. And then if I needed to take urine out, I would just attach this to the leg. And if I needed to take urine out, I would clamp this right here and then take it out from this little port thingy right here and put it in there. And now I'm going to clean them up and remove all the trays and stuff. So then I would set them back up to go. Oh, first I would do that. <laughs> and then put this up here. Okay. And then I do this. Oh, but I also have to take it out, so I guess I shouldn't do that. So I leave the chuck there. If I was going to take it out, I'd put another chuck. And then I would tell them there might be some pain or, or discomfort, not pain or anything. And I'm going to tell them to take a deep breath, and I'm going to pull it out. And then take this away and then clean up and then I'll be all done and raise the bed and everything like that. Also, I'd wash my hands before I take it out again too. Okay. That was kind of rough. 